Welcome back guys. So a new version of FSR3 frame generation bought by Nucam9 is now available. In this video, I'll be showing you how to use it with Hogwarts Legacy, NFS Unbound and Yusan. This mod works only on RTX GPUs. It basically replaces DLSS frame generation with FSR3 frame generation. This is the update log. Hopefully fixed all texture format conversion crashes, example Hogwarts Legacy. Improved error logging again. Now a lot of people were complaining about the mod not working with Hogwarts Legacy. Some people even complained about the game crashing after a few minutes of gameplay. Hopefully this new version of the mod will fix the crashing issues in Hogwarts. Just to be clear, this mod will not work with a pirated copy of Hogwarts. You need to have the latest version of the game. In this video, I'll be using the Steam version. Epic Games version of the game should also work. But the pirated copy is based on an older build of the game. I'll be testing all of these games on my Windows PC that has Ryzen 3700X processor and an RTX 2070 Super GPU. For all of the three games, I'll be using the standard version of the mod, won't be using its DLSS Tweaks edition. The install process is exactly the same for this new build as compared to the previous build. So let's download the install files, just head to Nexus Mods website, link has been provided. Click on manual download under DLSS G2 FSR3. Need to have a free Nexus Mods account in order to download any stuff from here. Click on slow download. There is the archive file that we just downloaded, extract its contents. You can refer to the readme for install instructions. Uninstall instructions have also been provided. Just need to run disable NVIDIA signatures check.registry file once. You don't need to run it again and again whenever you launch a different game. In order to revert the changes, just need to run restore NVIDIA signature checks.registry file. But then your mod will stop working. Now you just need to copy these two DLL files. Open the game's install directory. Just go to your Steam library, select the game. Right click. Go to manage and then click on browse local files. Open phoenix folder. Open binaries folder. Open win64 folder. Paste the DLL files here. That's it. Now I would recommend deleting the older configuration files for this game from the local app data folder. Just open C drive then open users folder. Open the folder corresponding to your system's name. Then open app data folder, make sure hidden item setting is checked, click on view, go to show, check the setting hidden items, open local folder, look for Hogwarts folder here, there it is, open it, open saved folder, open config folder, delete this folder, windows no editor. It will be generated automatically when you start the game next time. Now we need to make sure hardware accelerated GPU scheduling setting is enabled. Right click anywhere on your desktop and select display settings. Then click on graphics. Click on change default graphics setting. Make sure this toggle is enabled under hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. Now we need to enable vSync from NVIDIA control panel. Just make sure your GPU drivers are up to date. I'll enable vSync from global settings. Vertical sync set to on. You can also apply this setting on a per game basis. Just click on program settings here. Now add the game's exe file. There's Hogwarts Legacy. Scroll down and set vertical sync to on. Here you go. That's it, we are ready to run the game. With the new versions of the mod, no mod prompt pops up at the start. As you can see, I have access to frame generation setting. First, I'll run the game without it. Upscale mode set to DLSS quality. Make sure upscale sharpness level is set to zero. This value will get reset when you delete the config folder from the local app data folder. Reflex enable, vsync disable. That's it. Using the ultra preset with ray tracing enabled and set to ultra. Start the game. I'm in Hogsmeade. This area is very demanding. 
here fps is around 63 look at that ram usage 22 gb vram usage is around 7.2 gb now i'll enable frame generation with frame generation setting enabled it's not recommended to change any other setting without restarting the game otherwise it will cause some performance issues okay so after enabling the setting my fps increased up to 130 140 this is amazing so the setting is definitely working this time i used the standard version of the mod did not use its dlss tweaks edition mod setup process is fairly simple now the game did not crash for me i played it for about 30 minutes i think the modder has fixed the implementation of the mod in this game massive gains in performance always good to see not observing any graphical bugs as well no ghosting around the character model hair looks fine not fuzzy at all games interface is also not flickering so now i'll be trying out the next game next we have need for speed unbound again i'll be using the standard version of the mod just copy the two dll files open the games install directory i'll be using the steam version of nfs unbound This is the games install directory, just paste the files here. That's it, we are ready to run the game. Game setting, full HD resolution, vSync disable. DLSS set to quality. There is the option to enable or disable frame generation. First, I'll run the game without it. Reflex enable using the ultra preset. Yeah, this is Lakeshore City. Here we are getting around 90 to 94 FPS. I'll just drive around. Same performance. Now I'll enable frame generation. Okay, so with the setting enable, FPS increased up to 144. This is insane. Maxing out the refresh rate of my display. I'll just go back. Check the performance here. Still getting around 140 FPS. Not observing any graphical bugs. Games interface is not flickering. It seems swim generation works fine in this game. Shadows are rendered properly. I tried out this mod in Forza Horizon 5, it actually worked but the in-game shadows were glitchy. Good to see, no such bugs present in NFS Unbound, now I'll be trying out the next game. PC Game Pass version of Yuzan, again I'll be using the standard version of the mod, copy the two DLL files. Select the game, click on the three dots. Click on manage. Click on files, click on browse. Open Yuzan folder, open content folder, open ASC folder, binaries folder, WinGDK folder, paste the files here. Overwrite prompt in my case but you won't be seeing it if you are doing the process for the first time. Replace, that's it, we are ready to run the game. Video settings, full HD resolution, upsampling set to DLSS 3, quality preset. There is the option to enable or disable frame generation, first I'll run the game without it. Reflex enabled. Using the maximum preset. Start the game. Yeah, there is a character here, we are getting around 80 to 90 FPS. Now I'll enable frame generation. Hitting the GP bottleneck. There you go.
all right with the frame generation setting enable fps increased up to 144 game is running so smoothly yeah i can observe the smoothness not observing any graphical glitches character model is rendered properly no ghosting around the character there's no games interface on the display Let me just play the game. Just need to climb. Alternately hold the left and right mouse clicks. There you go, made it. FPS always stays above 100 with frame generation setting. Very impressed by its implementation in this game. So guys, I'll end the video here. I hope you found it useful. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.